Chapter 15 Brave Spirits It was our 36th day on Mars when Beelzebub woke up from his deep sleep. It was the longest sleep I've ever seen. I told him about what he'd missed. From our time at the Lunar Bar, the bus ride back to the station, Wolf and Bear's encounter with a lunar rover. And finding tardigrades on a piece of rock. To our long journey to Mars. When dear Sally tried to raise a potato farm. And when we nearly lost our minds. Until our arrival on the red planet. And meeting Martians. He said it didn't feel like he was asleep for nine months. He said it felt more like a long weekend. Like being stuck in a strange dream for four days. In his dream, Beelzebub came across an old donkey who ran away from his master because his master decided to stop feeding him due to his old age. The donkey was on a trip to town to play the harmonica and invited Beelzebub to come along and play the drums. They walked on a little way and then they saw a weary cat who ran away from his mistress because his mistress wanted to drown him for being too wary to catch mice, rats, and vermin. They invited the cat to join them to town and play the violin. So they went along together, and then they came across a farmyard where they saw an old rooster crowing on a perch with all his might long past sunrise. The farm family was planning to eat him when they have guests on the following evening. So the rooster wanted to crow and crow and crow while he still had some breath in him. They invited the rooster to join them to town and sing for their band. So off they went, but one day wasn't enough time to reach town, so they had to camp out in the night but they found it hard to sleep with an empty stomach. So they went in search of a house nearby. They thought if there's a house, there might be a few bones with a bit of meat in them. They peered in a lit window, where they saw bandits sitting around a table covered with good things to eat and drink. Now, they needed a plan to drive away the bandits. The donkey stood with his front feet on the windowsill, and the rest of them stacked up on top of him. Then they made music, loud music, and they jumped through the window, shattering the glass. The bandits thought it was the devil. They leapt and fled into the woods in fear. The donkey, the cat, and the rooster sat themselves down and ate freely of the food that was left. While Beelzebub, he helped himself with a swig from a large barrel. And that was the moment he woke up from his dream. <laughs>